Hi, my name is Sean Trevella. If you don't know me, I hope you may never meet somebody like me again. That's because I survived cancer four times. Four times over the course of seven and a half years. I've had leukemia. I've had a bone marrow transplant. I've had chemotherapy and radiation. And even though I've suffered tremendously, and I still do, I consider myself lucky. That's because most of my friends, they didn't make it. And it often makes me wonder, why? Why am I here? What's my purpose? Now, I think I know an answer. But before I share it with you, I'm going to tell you what it's like to be a kid with pediatric cancer. Now, some of the most memorable moments were with steroids. Now, not, not the steroids that you think of, not, not this type of steroids, not, not HGH like Barry Bonds takes, or apparently the rest of every cyclist ever. <laughs> I, I had a different type. One that made me, well, fat and angry. I was the size of a medicine ball and had the temper of 1,000 Donald Trumps. <laughs> And I got mad at and ate just about everything in sight. Here, here's a little example. One day, it was during Lent, and after church, an old lady started to approach me, and I could, I could tell she was nervous. And, well, because apparently, it's one of the most awkward things ever to approach a kid with cancer. And the lady came up to me and she said, now, Sean, what are you going to give up for Lent this year? I looked at her straight in the eyes and I said, my hair. It, it's okay. You can laugh at cancer jokes. <laughs> now, every day at the hospital was a struggle for me. I remember vividly being held down by five nurses getting needles in my chest. I remember screaming and crying. And, and believe me, getting needles in your chest is way scarier than public speaking. <coughs> and also, I remember all my friends, all my friends who I fought and suffered with. One of which, his name was Tyler. And at the time, Tyler had just beaten cancer, but he had a relapse. One day, we are going out to see a movie, me, my dad, and Tyler. And Tyler said to my dad, Mr. Fidel, all I want to do is drive a car. Tyler was 14 years old. Tyler never got to drive a car. It's moments like these and people like Tyler that make me realize what I was born to do. I was born to fight cancer, pediatric cancer, any cancer. But after some research, I discovered something. I discovered that out of all the money raised to fight all cancer, only 4% is given to our kids. 4%. The kids that have the most to live for, yet even more to lose. Tyler, me, only worth 4%. It's astonishing. And I think I can fix this problem. I think I know an answer. Well, here it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, Sports. In America, we worship athletes that score the touchdowns, shoot the threes, or, shout out to George Davis, like to play some baseball. And we love sports. Now, if you look at this picture, what one thing stands out? You can answer. Pink. The color of breast cancer awareness. Everybody knows pink. 
Everybody knows breast cancer awareness. And they have done a phenomenal job of supporting the patients, supporting, supporting patients who are going through that awful disease. But what about us? What about the kids? What about this? Gold. Which is, which is, by the way, the color of pediatric cancer awareness. Most people don't even know that. By using gold on gloves, on cleats or shoes, on clothes, we can change the world. We can save children. And anyone can do this. Whether you're coaching peewee, little league, all the way up to college or professional. And, and speaking of college, why, would, why wouldn't colleges want to support this? Aren't college athletes kids? They're older kids, but those are kids. And there's some pretty famous kids who play college athletics. Take Ernie Davis. Ernie Davis is one of the greatest college football running backs of all time. He was the first African-American Heisman winner. And he played for Syracuse alongside all-time great Jim Brown. Ernie Davis was diagnosed with cancer before he could step onto an NFL field. And sadly, he passed away. And we, if we could... Oh, shoot. My bad. Oh. <laughs> if we rallied around people like Ernie or... For example, one of, my, one of my friends who I met in the hospital, he plays Division I college football for the University of Iowa State. Isn't that great? He just beat cancer while playing football for Iowa State. He never quit. But the players could rally around players like him and then other kids who need support. And other doors could be opened. Simply like autograph signings for kids at the hospital, or just meeting kids. Famous athletes could meet the kids, and it means everything. Trust me, nothing is better than a player telling you that they will play the game for you. I know. We need to be vocal about this problem. We need to be vocal that only 4%, 4%, that's close to none, we need, to, we need to make sure that we can raise this number. We need to be more than four. Anyone can help. Anyone. Any sport. Any league. Any grade. You can help make a difference, and you can help save a child's life. Now, don't do this for me. Don't do this for you. Do this for the kids. Because our kids deserve more than four. Is you never know if you will be waiting in a waiting room. You never know if your name will be called and you will have to walk down the hallway. And you never know if you walk into a doctor's office and he will tell you that your child will have to fight for their lives. And don't just take my word for it, because who am I? Just a little ninth grader from Mountain Brook. Why don't you take the number three pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, Joey Bosa's word for it. I'm Joey Bosa, former defensive end at The Ohio State University, and I believe our children deserve more than four. And if you don't believe him, why don't you believe a cancer survivor who currently plays football at Iowa State University? Hi, my name is Mitchell Myers. I play football at Iowa State University and I'm a cancer survivor. Our kids deserve more than four. And if you don't believe any of them, why don't you believe arguably one of the greatest pitchers in New York Yankees baseball history, Andy Pettit? Hi, this is Andy Pettit, former pitcher of the New York Yankees and Houston Astros. Our kids deserve more than four. You can make a difference because I believe Tyler is worth more than four. I believe Sebastian is worth more than four. I believe Andrew is worth more than four. I believe Sid is worth more than four. I believe our children are worth more than four. Thank you.